Hi, this is Catherine from Craft Me Happy. Today I want to show you how I work Judy Becker's Magic Cast On. Um, Judy Becker's Magic Cast On was originally developed by her for working the toe of toe-up socks, but I use it for all kinds of things. Um, I've made hundreds of these little mitered puffs and they all have Judy Becker's Magic Cast On at the start. Um, as you can see, it's, it's an invisible cast on and it looks just like a knitted stitch. So it's, it's perfect for socks and bags and all kinds of things. Um, I've also knitted um, a rainbow because everyone needs a knitted rainbow in their lives. And the cast on for this is, is a Judy Becker's cast on. As you can see, it's it just looks like a knitted stitch. Um, I made a bag very recently and the cast on is right in the middle at the bottom and the increases are worked at the side into creating a rectangular based bottom for a bag so it's a really versatile stitch. I'm in the process of writing a knitting pattern um, for the rainbow. So I just thought I would demonstrate how to work Judy Becker's Magic Cast On on just a few stitches. I think the rainbow uses over a hundred cast on stitches, but for this I'll, I'll just work a few to demonstrate it. So you work at how much yarn you need for your long tail cast on. Uh, do, I, I do that by wrapping it around the needles just to make sure I've got enough yarn and then add a little extra just for luck. Um, so I have the tail going to the back and the yarn attached to the ball at the, at the bottom. So that's the tail yarn and the bottom yarn. So I make a little triangle with my thumb and forefinger and then just hold the yarn gently in my hands. Now the needles are all held, always held parallel. You just need to try and make sure that they are always parallel because there is a risk that as your needles fill up, they can start to gape and then your needle, your cast on stitches will become bigger. So to make the first stitch, I get it down onto the yarn and wrap it around the top needle anti-clockwise. Like that. And then after that, it's, it's just a gentle rhythm of making sure that the bottom needle is wrapped anti-clockwise with the top yarn and the top needle is wrapped anti-clockwise with the bottom yarn. So the second stitch is wrapped around the top yarn anti-clockwise and then rotate your wrist down to wrap it around the top needle, up to wrap the yarn around the bottom needle each time wrapping it around anti-clockwise and each time swapping the yarn that you're picking up so that it becomes twisted underneath you can just see it's twisted there so I'll just cast on a couple more but it's really easy to get into a smooth rhythm with Judy Becker's magic cast on and it is a really versatile stitch. Okay, so that's enough stitches now. So I will rotate my needles anti-clockwise. So this is the knit side. This side will be on the outside. And then if I turn it over, it's, it's a chenille yarn, so it's not very easy to see. These, This will be the pearl side. You can just about see some pearl stitches forming there. So I'll hold the tail out of, out of the way and I will knit the first row, of, sorry, the first half of the magic loop. I 
I don't normally have such a long tail on so few needles, but this is the only needle I have in this size. Okay, so pull the tail through. And then pull the back needle through. So now I'm just going to do the other half of the magic loop on these stitches. Now this was the first stitch, so it can be a bit tighter if, if I haven't quite got my tension right. Now, and that's one round of magic loop casting on with Judy Becker's magic cast on. So unfortunately you can't really see cause, very well because it's a chenille yarn but if I stretch it out you can see the outside stitches are the round that I've just worked and there's a centre row of stitches which is the cast on row and if I turn it over it just looks like three rows of stitches 